So I'm going to do a stretched pot. That's going to start out just like any other pot. A tall, thin cylinder. Make sure it's even. From top to bottom. So I go Then on the outside, I want to clean it up as much as possible. Same thing on the inside. So that when I apply the slip and go to stretch it out, the crackles will be even and won't break on the, the ribs. And on the inside, if you've got an inside that's not smooth either, when you stretch it out, the parts that are high and raised will push out more than the parts that aren't, or the parts that aren't. Then I'm going to slip it. just a red slip, iron oxide, and then dry it. The drier it is, the deeper the cracks will be. The deeper the cracks is, the more potential you have of it breaking. So I go down and I test it by pushing out a little bit. If it starts to crack, I can continue. If it's cracking a little bit, I'm going to give it a little more heat. Then I'm going to collar in the top and press it out. I don't want to make. I want to make sure I don't get too much water, that it runs down the piece because it'll mess up the way it works. Now on the inside, I'm going to start pressing out with a rib. I go from bottom to top, top to bottom, depending on the piece. I'll go back and forth both directions. So what I'm looking for is it start starting to split like this. After it splits a little bit, I'm going to dry it out some more. This will cause the cracks to go a little deeper. The further you press it out, the bigger the cracks get. That might be it soon. I'm going to go back. Now when I wet this edge, I want to make sure I wet it really carefully. I don't want to get water all the way down the surface of it. So I might actually get slip rather than water. Water out of the bottom. That's the pot.